I don't like listening to my own voice. Let's go for something nicer, deeper. There we go. This is better. This will be my narration voice. This is how you take up stock Baja warrior, or mini Baja, they're all the same, and replace the stock centrifugal clutch with a torque converter clutch. Here's the stock gear reduction system that comes with it. And here's the torque converter. It's an old one. I pulled off my old Mini Baja. So first, pull off the bolt on the clutch. Pop off the master link on this gear reduction system. And take off the chain. Now pop off the clutch. Take out the bolts that mount to the motor. And then there's one more on the other side of the bike that you need to take out. and take off the gear reduction system. Then pop off the master link on the longer chain. Then move the chain out of the way. Take off the shield thingy on the motor because that interferes with the torque converter. Doesn't let it melt right. There's another bolt on the other side that you take out. Then put it back in. Because it also holds the front of the motor on. and take off the chain guard. That also interferes with the torque converter. And smack in it mount its mounting bracket because that also interferes with the torque converter. And take off this exhaust support beam. Exhaust heat shield support beam because it also interferes with the torque converter. Then you can put the bolt back in if you want to keep the heat shield, or just take off the heat shield. Then you have to drill new holes, drill between the holes because they don't line up. Then I had to grind off two fins on the torque converter because they hit the engine and didn't let it mount right. As you can see, it's the two fins closest to the front of it, where the shaft would poke through. Those need to go. Then I also grind around there because I found the chain was rubbing a bit, but I would wait till it's actually hooked up, and you can see for yourself if it does or not. Then you're going to need longer bolts to mount it to the engine, because it's a lot thicker than the stock gear reduction system. I think it might come with pulse though. I can't rec can't remember. And screw in the bolts. These are just random bolts I found. They use an Allen key. So tighten up the bolts as much as you can without stripping them. Add the spacer. I actually added a second spacer. I don't got it on camera though, because this shield I'm putting on right here, or plate 
didn't line up with the back plate of the bigger sprocket. So those two pieces have to line up. So I needed two spacers. Add the idle ring back to it, put on the belt. Put the front piece back on. Put the cover on. Then I also need the longer bolt for this part because that's deeper than the gear reduction one. Screw that on. Tighten it up. Put the back chain back on. Put the master link in. Then we're going to need to tighten that chain to loosen off the back bolt. Look how floppy it is. Then bring back the tire to tighten up the chain. Once it's at a good tension, tighten the bolt back up. And add the cover. We needed to cut slots in the back of it to make room for the chain to go through. Unscrew in the bolts to hold on the cover. And let's take it for a run, see what difference it made. It's a whole lot torquier, you can't really see it on the video. But it is, you'll have to take my word for it. Audio got corrupted somehow on this GoPro recording, so that's why it sounds so weird. There we go. 64 kilometers an hour. It's a bit lower than I would expect, so it probably needs some more tuning. Should be around 70-ish.